warning, spoilies ahead. Is season four. Right. Is it honestly, season four? Honestly, I don't know anymore just because of how long I've been away. You know, after the whole incident. Don't worry, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna cut all this like, incriminating evidence out and everything, but like are Good. you doing okay? Because like I am like in this hole in the ground. Like I found this Yeah, have Gwendolyn cut that out, would you? Yeah. Can she not mess it up this time, maybe? She just I mean I can't. Maybe prom- she could not maybe she just not totally, you know, fuck the whole thing up like she normally does. I can't promise that, but I can ask her to take all the incriminating evidence out because honestly if if uh we go down, she goes down too. Well, that's, I, that's very, I I assume she would be almost, you know, she'd be heavily involved, if not oh, the equally most as guilty. guilty party Obviously. involved. And we did nothing, and it was all her fault, you know, sort of situation. natural don't say anything incriminating and we'll be good to go good yep hi welcome to two guys one film a project nerd original show i'm dylan and i'm dane welcome to season four everybody it's been a fantastic first three seasons and it's going to be a fantastic fourth season if i do say so yes i think it's going to be super fantastic i I don't want to jinx it now but it might be the best season yet it's putting that out there I think I think you're right. I think yeah. that's that's how it's gonna be. All right. Well, to start off season four, uh, we watched Clue, the nineteen the 1985 movie Clue, directed by Jonathan Lynn, written by John Landis and Jonathan Lynn, and it's a uh, it's a good it's a good movie. It's a, a bunch of people being blackmailed, invited to a big mansion, and then. Uh, somebody gets murdered and it's like a whodunit it's the it's the board game and it's in a movie it's in a delightful movie it's a it's a cool like like it it feels like the board game like it's weird it's like you're watching the board game i actually read a really cool fact that the layout of the mansion is the exact same layout as the board game so where the rooms are is the exact same place as they are in the game and it's cool like it's it's a, a successful board game movie so yeah and i gotta say out of the gate the uh i think the dog poop gag <laughs> is so good and so subtle it's gr- it's fantastic just because like everyone knows when they come into the and they like they check their own check shoes their shoes and, then, yeah. <laughs> and i like when miss white comes in she does it and then she looks at like the butler and she's like starts smelling him like uh, wadsworth or whatever his name is yeah wadsworth <laughs> and the uh spoiler alert uh the foreshadowing of the chandelier when Colonel Mustard's getting brought into the study, he like stops and looks up at it. And it's like that shot. And then later on, it's oh, yeah. the one that falls down and scares him. I was like, well, that's pretty cool. I like the, uh, I always forget that in the beginning of this movie, like I like the music. I like that like weird synthy thing over the top where it's mm-hmm. like, it just, I, I miss like old stuff like that. I loved the intro is great. I just like the setup of it. It was my one of my favorite jokes was like uh Mr. Green shows up and like the dogs are barking and Wadsworth's like sit and so he sits on the ta- on the bench He's like not you. I love I like, oh, fucking love Mr. Green. He's like one of my favorite. I didn't do it. The whole movie. <laughs> they told you I didn't do it. I I'm jump sorry. <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's what we always do. We we always do it. And I always sit here going, I'm sorry, I'm doing that. You know what? I'm not sorry. It's season four by now, people. You should know what you're getting into. (laughs) I guess I guess I guess what you should be saying is, Dane, calm down. You know you should know what you're getting into already. I mean if the season four. I was talking about the 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 people watching. If they if they're expecting us to go in order, then Then you're you picked the wrong show. Guess what? You're out of luck, pal. Yeah, because we're about to. We just talked about the ending already. Mm hmm. One of my favorite quotes is from Wadsworth. He's like, I'm a butler. He's like, What do you do? He's like, I buttle. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many, like, one liners in this. It's so clever, and I love it. 
I like the uh, why is the car stopped? It's frightened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, we got to talk about fucking leaving, being Mister Body, lead singer mm-hmm. of Fear. I was like, he's been acting in this, but he he's been in other movies. He was in like what, Streets of Fire. It was a good one with Willem Dafoe. I was gonna say, like, I know I've seen this guy in other stuff, and I can't think of what he sounds like. He's lead singer of what Fear? fear. I love living in the city. That's Fear. I guess I would have to hear it because I can't. I can't. It's not okay, well, r- ringing a bell like his face was. Yeah, let's uh, let's put a, a pin in this real quick. I'm gonna show you. I'll cut that all part out, people. You'll just have to go look up fear. The yeah. <laughs> like, let's put a pin in this. Cut it out completely. Yeah. And welcome back. And where we watched the clip from a band called Fear. And boy, boy, howdy, do I remember that song? Boy, howdy. Did That's s- a, it's it's strange that he <laughs> like from that to this. Yeah. Well, he was in, yeah, it was a um, movie called Streets of Fire, which is a really good movie. And Willem Dafoe's in it. He's all young and, like, leaving as, like, his right-hand man because they're, like, in a like a motorcycle kind of gang. It's, like, set in the 50s. It's a fucking cool movie. Maybe we huh. should watch it one of these days. I'd be I'd be down to do that, sir. Um, did cigarettes have filters in 1954? I feel like they didn't. I don't know. That's one thing you'd have you'd have to look up like when cigarettes had like first got filters. I feel like they did. Yeah, because I know like in every like movie from the '40s, like all the noirs and stuff, they're just like the hand rolled. Everyone's like smoking. I don't know why this is a thing I need to know, but like that when Miss Scarlet goes for a cigarette, I was like, did they have filters back then? But who knows? If not, then this is just uh, highly inaccurate. <clears throat> Let's see. I had to look it up because I was curious. Uh, cigarette filter, also known as the filter tip. Ooh. The tip. The tip that you smoke the butt of, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Smoking the tip uh, is the component of a cigarette along with the cigarette piper. Blah, 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 blah. Filters were introduced in the early 1950s. Okay. So, yeah, it was accurate. Okay. Yeah. Well, fuck me yeah. for asking. I was just curious. No, it's all right. I, it's, a, it's, it's, it's history. It's history, folks. And now we know. Now we can just bring that up randomly. Did you just, know that like the first fil- uh, filter on a cigarette happened in the fifties sometime? And did you know that in the movie Clue, the cigarettes in there were uh, accurate to the time period? What's Clue? <laughs> that's the <laughs> yeah, that's the end. That's of it. And I walk away. I'm like, fuck yeah. you. <laughs> just because you don't know what yeah. Clue is, fuck you. I love how dumb Colonel Mustard is. There's that part where he's like. Are you trying to make me look stupid in front of the other guests? He goes, "You certainly don't need help from me for that, sir." And he goes, "Yes, exactly." He's like, and yes. "Stops." And there's that whole <laughs> bit with like, the, "Is there anybody else in the house?" "Yes or no?" Is like that whole fucking bit. He's like, "No, no, there's yes, there's nobody in the house." It's so fucking good. I forgot the question. Like, I love that part. <laughs> the soup scene was pretty good yeah. too. Just everybody looking at him. And like, you know, I'm I was watching it and I'm thinking like. Man, I feel like it'd just be awkward to sit with that many people and eat soup anyway. It's actually like everybody is trying really hard to be quiet. You're supposed to eat soup like that. I guess it's somewhat scientifically proven that when you slurp it, it adds more like air bubbles or some shit, and it actually like makes the flavor what it's supposed to be. It's not like super different, but there was people that like slurp soup like just regular and then they go and it's like a, a difference i guess so you're supposed like to maybe it, maybe it spreads it out on your yeah. palate but i know in most cultures like if you slurp it that's a good thing you know oh so maybe I, I just start doing that i don't yeah. need a whole lot of soups not a big soup guy i'm just gonna start <laughs> any any <laughs> liquid that i drink <laughs> i play backfire <laughs> well, uh where it's like you know explaining why they're all there and like doing the Various reasons they're blackmailed. Mm-hmm. Mrs. White's, where she was like, you know, her husband's dead. She's like, what does he do? Yeah. Oh, he just lays on his back all the time. And later on, when it comes <laughs> out, she's like, I, I was like, I get it. Lays on his back all the time because he's in his grave. <laughs> and then she has that line of like, you know, there's is there life after this? Like, yeah, he's dead, and now I have a life. And I was like, <laughs> um, oh, and he, she was like, 
they were like, but your first husband died too. He's like, yeah, he was an illusion, illusionist, and he, but he never reappeared. Well, he wasn't a very good was illusionist. Very... <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Speaking of Colonel Mustard being a dummy, the uh, double negatives thing. Double negatives? You have pictures? <laughs> yeah. It's so stupid, and I fucking love it. Like, everyone's... And then, what was it? Like, somebody... I can't remember who... I think it was Wadsworth asked him something, and then he says, uh, that's when I lost my mommy and daddy. <laughs> yeah, the way he said mommy and daddy, because, like, he was... He got uh, rich during war when he lost his mommy and daddy, and like everyone yeah. like looks at him. Well, because the way he said, it, <laughs> my "Mommy and daddy," my mommy and daddy, and he's just so serious, and then just walks away. <laughs> I think like each character is like it's they're they're all brilliant. It's really great. Mm-hmm. Like Professor Plum, you know, he's being blackmailed for like sleeping with a a patient or whatever but he was like automatically like starting to grab like miss scarlet's ass in the beginning and he's like yeah. always looking at um if it's or whatever her name is like chest and boobs, everything yeah. yeah and like how well, mrs. everybody is <laughs> yeah and like mrs white which is funny because she's dressed all in black and like she's just so like dead in the face like deadpan and everything colonel mustard's mm-hmm. an idiot and mr green's accident prone which i, I fucking love I and fucking just like jumpy green. as hell yeah. i do too I love when he just like comes out what he's being blackmailed for. He's like, "Cause I'm a, I work for the State Department. I'm a homosexual. I lose my job." And like everybody just sits there. He's like, "Just wanted to get that out there. Just sits back down." <laughs> <laughs> I like it when uh, Yvette is like, "Oh, who's gonna go upstairs with me? Cause I'm afraid of the dark." Yeah. <laughs> and like it's him and I, it was uh, Professor Plum, Colonel Mustard, and Mister Green. Yeah, and they're both like, "Oh, I will." And he's like, "No thanks," and just like walks <laughs> away. <laughs> And he's the one that ends up getting stuck with her. It's just fucking I great. I and, well, I can't remember if it's the part after that where where Mr. Green's like looking for a spot to sit down. It was yeah, like after Oh, well, they Mr. all come Body. back. Yeah. <laughs> and like he tries to find every seat and then when he finally sits on the table and then like goes back just, just like smash. <laughs> <laughs> it was such like like good well-written like comedic slapstick humor at times but it wasn't like over the top it, like fit really well like it was just like yeah fucking silly goofy shit but i fucking loved it well like to me it, it was over the top but like in a good way yeah because like boring. like they know that they're doing it like over the top and yeah. that was the point yeah and that's what like that's what made it so funny to me because it's just it's ridiculous like it's just super ridiculous and it looks like they're having a lot of fun doing it mm-hmm that scene when they go to the kitchen when they hear the cook and like how mrs white is just like pushing mr green and like he's like the only one that ends up like walking in there (laughs) i just love that fucking part i didn't do it and then when they're bringing the cook's body (laughs) and mr body is gone and they just like drop her face first on the ground and then just like end up dropping her fucking legs too like it's the carelessness of the bodies in this movie is so is it green. it's mr green that opens the door and when her and her body falls out yeah and i love it when he's like sitting there and he's just like i didn't do it somebody help me help me so, help somebody me. help me please <laughs> yeah. just like drop her <laughs> when uh miss peacock's about to faint and watts was like fall faint into my arms and he has her arms and she just like falls straight down into him onto the floor <laughs> i was like oh god Tim Curry was amazing in this. Tim Curry is amazing in like everything he is. Pretty much, yeah. I'm now shouting. Okay, I am shouting. <laughs> <laughs> and that was cool. Like, I love the introduction of like the classic weapons of the game. You know, Mr. Mm-hmm. Body gives them all. It's like if you kill Wadsworth, we can all just get out of here, and I'll continue blackmailing you because he called the cops. Whatever. I was like, yeah. that's fucking cool. Like, they bring all the weapons of the game i was like nice yeah. it's, cl- it's fucking clever like it's i don't know well, yeah like again it's just the game like you know it's like i don't know it's like watching people play it but like getting really really into it like mm-hmm. while they're playing it <laughs> it'd be like if if D and was clue, clue yeah like, <laughs> uh, like if i was playing clue and super into the characters and role playing you know like this is what that movie would be this yeah, movie like, and you and you had like a replica of the mm-hmm. actual mansion. <laughs> yeah, I like how when they find the cook and she's dead, the dinner wasn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, 
There's so many fucking lines in this. It's I know. So when the way Colonel Mustard pours the whiskey for everybody, he pours I... a glass of fruit and he just like like haphazardly like pours over three different cups. That was one of those things that like I'm just like, dude, this is like fucking genius. Yep. Like that shit is genius. Like I read uh what's his name? Uh uh, Roger Ebert's review of this and uh, and he he whined about it you know like oh it, it, like he's making it sound like they did try too hard and it just wasn't very like it had funny stuff but it wasn't that funny you know but I mean that's him and he, he made a, a living being a turd about yeah. movies so you know here we so are that. being turds about movies but good turds. yeah but like we're good yeah, remember we're the right amount of butthole yeah butthole right here not up here ebert up here yeah like but this i did find interesting after i read the entire article because i was like oh what a turd like what a butthole and uh where he went and saw the movie and i guess back when it came out that's right you didn't see all of the endings at once you had to like literally go and in his thing he suggested to put them all three in there he's he's like i think it'd be a cool idea if you just put them all in there yeah you know because yeah i read that was like their marketing campaign it was like yeah each theater was given one of the three endings and it was supposed to like bring people in to go see the movie and i guess it, it backfired because nobody really went back to go watch it which sucks but i guess yeah. it's 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 got a cult following now which is great because it's it should but yeah like i remember when i was a kid like watching it on tv they always had all three endings so when you any yeah. people when you watch it it'll have all three endings well see that's that's what i thought and that's why it was so interesting when i read that i was like oh that seems like kind of a pain in the butt and it seems like you're just like trying to make people pay more to see a movie that they already saw just to see the ending yeah and, and i like, could see why that wouldn't work and like the other cool idea pretty just, short but whatever yeah i get where they're coming from but yeah so the idea to put it all in at the end was really cool it's genius yeah so the length of time and the silence for the matchstick scene I fucking loved it when they're trying to size up the matchsticks of who's going with who. And like that scene is really long and there's no like talking and it's everybody just like holding the matchsticks up together. And it goes so long and I fucking <laughs> loved it because like all the dudes immediately try to match up with the vet. I know. And there's like the super long one and like they've got a short one. It was just I was like, like, oh man, I already know. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the, um, Oh, I, I I missed some stuff that I wanted to talk no, about. Go back, oh, let's man. go back. We'll go, we'll go back like a tiny little bit. Because like I had the way they dropped the cook, and that made me crack up. And it was funny when I think it was Miss White that says something about. Oh, they were they were looking at the negatives, those pictures, and she goes like, "Oh, no one can get in that position." And uh, like, yeah. he's like, oh, "Oh no, let me show you." And he like puts her down on the couch. Starts doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dude? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> and then the way like when they come in and they have they had like finally got mr body on the couch and he the way he's like looking up <laughs> yeah <laughs> like mustard Curl mustard. i like that because they have hang on uh, yeah they have like the cook yeah because i like how like if it's like the knife it'll go further into her back it's like lay her over there like i, I love that scene because like colonel mustard's like ordering every like the women to pick up the giant cook lady and then the men yeah. pick up like the tiny Mr. Body guy. <laughs> but yeah, I love, I loved like how professor Plum ends up falling in the middle and he like just puts his hand on like the cook and everything. I was yeah. like, oh, that's so fucking good. <laughs> it might be poison. <laughs> I love how she he slaps. <laughs> yeah. Well, had, and then I had to stop her from screaming. <laughs> fucking Wadsworth does it at the end too. And he's like doing everybody's impressions. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It goes to the end, but yeah, uh oh when they're picking the the matches we can go back to that because that's when uh uh professor plum and peacock get put together and he and he's just like it's you and me honey bunch <laughs> <laughs> when they're in the basement and he goes what are you afraid of a fate worse than death and she goes no just no. death and i was like <laughs> <laughs> uh and like that whole scene was so goofy, but done right. Like the like comedic, all the, all the of, stuff that they're doing in like the separate areas. Yeah, like how goofy it is. Like when 
Mrs. White and Wadsworth are going to a separate room, and then they come back out and they look at each other and like when Mr. Green and Yvette are like going up the stairs at the same time and like each trying to push each other up to do it. Or uh, Colonel Mustard and Scarlet squeezing through the bar. <laughs> yeah, and it's like such classic slapstick humor, and it it and it again fits like so well. right there is where I'm just like, God, this is fucking ridiculous, but like in such an awesome way because you know they're having a like they had oh, a really yeah. fun time with this shit. Oh fuck yeah, dude! There is one <laughs> part that I I, th- I always thought was funny. It was like when Mr. Green and Wadsworth are coming running down the hall and they run into each other how like obvious it is that they're stunt doubles because they like (laughs) it shows too much of them too soon of like them actually running up to each other like just show the impact like cut and then show the impact because now i can clearly see it's not them and it always reminds me of that scene in space balls and they turn around it's like you idiots you captured their stunt doubles and it's like completely different looking people Uh, whenever i think a stunt double the one that pops out to me and I'm sorry, everyone watching, but it it always has to happen. We bring up Terminator, mm-hmm. uh, John Connor jumping on the uh, the his little motorbike, <laughs> and it's uh, very obviously not him. Like a man, like looking, over those bushes, like a full yeah, grown dude, <laughs> full grown dude. I was like, okay, <laughs> cool. go, John, go. <laughs> cool fact. I know this isn't uh, Terminator. Robert so, Patrick got so good at controlling his breathing while he ran that in every take he actually caught up to the bike in the garage holy shit so he had to slow down just so he didn't catch up to it that's fucking crazy he's fucking fast yeah and like he was like because he was so good at controlling his breath and so he was like catching up to the the dirt bike in every scene so like james cameron's like dude you gotta slow down like you can't catch it that's the point and also why are you not like an olympic runner yeah (laughs) and for the fact that he learned to shoot a gun without blinking because he's a robot so he wouldn't that's fucking oh man so if you i got to watch the movie again movie. There's the, like when he every time he fires a gun he never just, blinks bah, bah, bah. like when they're in that's, the hallway in the mall oh my god like, like it's well it makes sense that dude that's does not cool. get enough credit for that fucking role like it was we're gonna have to do terminator we're gonna have to that scene when wadsworth tries to break down the door i <laughs> he just slams into it just like ah. <laughs> Like how hard he slams into it. I knew he wasn't going through them. Like, dude, that wood is solid. (laughs) Tight, dude. It was like solid, solid. Bill Bill, Bill Nye. And Um, they they do. Sorry to interrupt. Was that the was that the last? Was that before the cop shows up? Yeah. So that before that, the one motorist shows up that got stranded, like his car up on the rock or whatever. That's right. And I like how they lock him in. He's trying to make a phone call, and then they go back to searching the house. And I think he gets murdered, and Colonel Mustard and Miss Scarlet find the room that he's in, and that's why they're trying to get out because yeah, Wadsworth locked they're like them trapped in. in there with the body. Yeah, yeah. And that classic like "Let us out, let us out, let me in, let me in." Like, I love that. <laughs> yeah, and then that's when you find out the the weapons cabinet was unlocked because the first part is when like he goes to throw the key, and that's when the motors is at the front door, mm-hmm. but. The second time the doorbell rings, they do what I've done before in the past, is the, maybe they'll just go away, and they just sit there for a long time. And then it rings again, and I was like, fuck, I've done I've that totally, before. I've like, totally, I've done that before, too. Bell. I was like, like uh, come just on. Just go away. Just go like, away. And, like, you look out there a little bit, just, then they look just, over, and you're like, just go away. <laughs> Thankfully, that doesn't happen around here too much. The, uh, the part when the cop's in there and he's like, oh, I'm a obstruction of justice with police officer and murder. And like, murder? What are you talking about? He's like, I just said, <laughs> so you'd open the door. So you got J. Edgar Hoover on the phone. They're like, why do you have J. Edgar Hoover on your phone? He's like, he's on, every own, he's on everyone else's phone. Why not mine? I was like, nice, nice <laughs> dig at the FBI, bro. Oh. <laughs> and that scene when, like, they're making Mr. Green show the cop around. And like, why don't you show them the dining room and the kitchen and the library? And when they go <laughs> in and like, she's making out with like Mr. Body. And I, my favorite parts when Colonel Mustard's by the curtains with the cook and he's like holding her eyes. Open yeah, like, like the two, room. the two. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some people having a good time in here. 
I like that. The uh, oh, this guy's this guy's drunk. Dead. Oh, drunk. don't worry. Yeah, dead drunk. Dead right. I love when she says that. I love that. Oh, well, don't worry. We'll get him a car. Long black car. Yeah, he's handsome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right he showed me everything everything it's like yeah it's it's america it's free it's like it's not that free <laughs> <laughs> when they're search, when they're oh sorry when they're searching again and miss white starts screaming and wadsworth he's like i'm coming i have to find the door he's like what's this another door and he turns it's the shower i was like ah, i know fucking <laughs> so good it's so fucking classic it was just so random that yeah. just kind of came out of nowhere it was great What's this? Another door? And then just like, psh, psh. is that uh, is that then the maid? That's when right? that's when the cop, the maid, and then the singing telegram girl dies, which is the guitar player from the Go Go's. Really? Yeah. I am your singing telegram. She was also Joan of Arc in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Oh yes. Yeah. Man, it's crazy, crazy. This this movie has got so much. It really does. It's got, it's got it really some. Does. It's got some musicians, and it's got some actors. Yeah. My like, all time, favorite part of the movie ever since I was like a kid, was Wadsworth explaining every event and how he knows who the killer is. Always mm -hmm. my favorite because he's like so hyper and like running around and like doing impressions of people. It's like. And then, uh, then Colonel Muslim and Miss uh, White, uh, hello, hello. And I noticed that they know each other. And, like, he just, like, kept running around the house and how he kept, like, shoving Mr. Green on the floor when, like, Mr. Body and everything. Like, always, <laughs> always has been my favorite part was the end when he's, like, running around. And he's like, and then, then I was in the hall. I knew because I was in the hall. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I like how when they do find the maid, like, dead, they just, like, they like do like they it's like they don't care at all and they just walk right out of the room. Yeah. Like just they just like, start talking. Oh. They find her and they're just like eh. Yeah. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> and the way that he says no, no. Like Tim Curry. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Like the way yeah. he says it. No. <laughs> uh to make a long story short. <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> <laughs> too late <laughs> yeah how'd you know can you keep a secret yes yeah, so can i and then just that's it i love that part <laughs> should we go through the endings the endings yes yeah all right so, so the first one the scarlet a. yeah so let's break let's break this down so she did she kill mr she tried to kill mr body right because she tried to do all the murders yeah right <clears throat> Or somebody else tried to, and they failed, and then she realized he was dead. Cause Mr. She realized he was alive, and or, yeah, no, Professor I think... Plum. No, 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 was no, really because the uh, the maid still killed him, right? right. Like, cause she, yeah, like because she like follows him out because she because you know. she's working for Miss Scarlet because Miss Scarlet runs the the Hua house, and Yvette's one of her like you know Yvette girls. hides the body in the in the closet or whatever that hallway thing. She runs back, screams, everybody comes and finds her. She was scared. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then Scarlet, yeah, chases. She kills the motorist who knew Colonel Mustard because he was a driver for him during the war. And then the police officer, she pays off for her business. So she yeah. killed him. I don't know why she killed the 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 singing telegram girl. Does she recognize her or something? Some, I think so. Man, I like literally just watched. I this did too. And I'm like, like oh. it, it's not soaked in. But I, I think, I loved how excited she was that Wadsworth found out. It's like, how'd you do it? Like, it, it was so good. And she, yeah, she only like blackmailed these people for like government secrets. Yeah, that's so fucking good. But then she doesn't get away with it. Yep. Cause the F it's the FBI and that call from J. Edgar Hoover was for me and it was like Wadsworth was like an agent, like a cop yeah. or whatever. Yeah. The second one is probably my least favorite. When it's Miss Peacock. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's good, but it's like my least favorite. 
The last last one is the best one. Oh, that's hands hands down the best one. Where the, everybody is guilty. <laughs> yeah. And the clever the clever cut they do, which, you know, made it good for theaters was like he goes over to the light switch and knocks the power out. Mm-hmm. And then each different ending is him turning it back on and going, I'm sorry, I scared everybody. It's too late for that. Like, <laughs> uh, the best part in the Miss Peacock one is when he's like, we should congratulate her for she's a jolly good fit. And then everyone starts seeing yeah. it for some reason. I was like, what the fuck is going on in this? And then scene? they just leave it. or as she leaves and that's it. They're like, yeah. <laughs> we'll stack the bodies up in the basement. Forget all about it. <laughs> and the, the, they did have a good line when he's like, oh, we always get our man. And Mr. Green was like, oh, Miss Peacock was a man. <laughs> <Just like slap. laughs> I like how they make him just like so dopey. And then at the end, he's like, yeah. Yeah, he ending along. the ending three is the best, where each person killed somebody. Yeah, that was really cool. And how? So let's go. Who killed Mister Body in that one? I seriously, I just fucking watched this. I don't remember. I know, but I know Miss White killed a vet because she was sleeping with her husband. Um. Miss Peacock killed. The sink. No, who the fuck did she kill? The cook, because the cook yeah. cooked for Miss Peacock. So oh, yeah, that's right. Fin. right. The, that was the. The monkey the brains. Monkey brains. Yeah. yeah. Was that what we had? Like, Colonel, I like how he brings it up a few times, too. Yeah. I think what Colonel Mustard killed the motorist because he drove for him because Colonel Mustard was a war profiteer. Yeah. That's how he got his money. Did <laughs> Professor Plum kill the girl or miss scarlet killed the girl it was uh this is like yeah we just watched this this is how dumb we are folks wow uh i i want to say it was plum i'm gonna fucking look this up this is this is bothering me once again third time's a charm (laughs) we were too busy paying attention to those one-liners yeah exactly (laughs) okay per Professor Plum murders Mr. Body because he's blackmailing everyone. Okay, so we're deadly okay. wrong about that one. Miss Peacock kills the cook because she's spear cook. We got that one right. Colonel Mustard kills the motorist because he was the driver during the war. He knew he was a war profiteer. Oh, Miss Car- Scarlet kills the cop because she's been bribing him to let her keep running oh, the brothel, which I like. That's like, that's not illegal. You don't have to bribe him. <laughs> Uh, Miss White kills a vet because she had an affair with her husband. Uh, Wadsworth kills the singing telegram girl who had an affair with Professor Plum because she's the one one more informant to dispose of. That's right, because then, twist ending. Well, Wadsworth, we were somewhat right. Yeah. Uh, Wadsworth was Mr. White, or Mr. Body all along, and Mr. Body was the butler. Whoa. Yeah, and he basically like tricked everyone to kill the informant so he can keep blackmailing him. And like he, they have no shit on him, and he's like free to go. And he almost gets away with it. Yep. When Mister Green <laughs> shoots him too, and it's like a good shot, and falls on the ground. <laughs> Very good shot. And like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love when, his his line of, uh, "I'm gonna go home and sleep with my nice. wife." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because the whole thing, you think he's like this homosexual. It's like yeah. get him. <laughs> the call for J. Edgar Hoover was for me. I love, I love, like, the way he says it. Yeah. <laughs> I told you I didn't do it. And he's, like, so cool after that. Cause, like, whole yeah. movie is just, like, him being a wiener. Nervous guy. Yeah. Like, getting, like, sit. <laughs> like, yeah. just like, <laughs> will you stop? It's a little late for that. <laughs> when he gets thrown in the bathroom by wadsworth and he comes out like washing his hands and like the toilet like flush and everything and like gives professor or the colonel mustard the towel i was like that's fucking i know <laughs> literal toilet humor i love it of course uh you know a guy like ebert couldn't couldn't possibly like something like this it's, it's way too lowbrow for him yeah, i don't like this kind of humor i like things like the piano and <laughs> uh the crying game and uh uh casualties of war i don't know i think <laughs> of like 
movies that he would love. It's such a, a hard thing to make fun of them for because we literally do the same thing. But I'd be We're like, just nice. How the fuck did they do it for so long? And people were like, I'm going to listen to these guys, but here yeah, people these, are listening now, to us. These so. guys know what they're talking about. Yeah, and that's what guys. you should be saying about us because yeah. we do. Boy, do we. <laughs> Screw those old. Even though we're men. sitting here like uh, looking up bits what of the movie. The movie? <laughs> yeah, we're, so, we're so fucking bad at our job, but yet. Yeah. You know, if the few people who watch, thanks. We appreciate it. Even thanks for though, watching us be dopey. Yeah. Dopey dopes don't remember the movie that we literally just watched and that I've watched multiple times. But Yeah, I've I seen just, it before. <laughs> I just always get so caught up into it. I'm like, I don't remember anything. So that's why I'd be a, a horrible detective. I would be yeah. horrible at a murder mystery. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Did you see the blood on that thing? They got, they had a fish aquarium, dude. Did you see those fish? Ooh, that was cool. <laughs> That'd be me. I'd be like looking at their knickknacks and yeah. stuff. Like, oh man, this I love this movie. <laughs> oh, cool. They have a, look. Look at the records they have, dude. This is a good one. That would man, be. Man, I don't have this one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? Like, yeah, you have a job to do. Ah, oh, I know. Yeah. Who done it? I don't give a shit. That's yeah, what you can I, out. Can I take this? He's yeah. dead. <laughs> Yo, dibs on this one, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm tired of saying folks, so I'm gonna say, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed this and want to see uh, other things that are super fucking cool, super fun, nerding out what you love to do most, head over to Project Hyphen Nerd. Every time. Go check it out. It's 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 awesome. There's all kinds of stuff they got. They got unboxings. They've got cosplay. They got people that talk about movies, i.e. us. And they got, you know, they got fun podcasts. Uh all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. Jesus Christ, why can't I think of what they've got? I was like literally yeah. like like I get notifications constantly. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I as should you folks like sign up for yes. notifications. If you're not getting notifications of new videos, you're not doing it right. Yeah. Fucking subscribe. Watch all this shit, including us and more. All right. Any anyway. Uh so do we talked about the ending or are yeah, we, we still talking about, about the ending i think we finished the ending we covered it all three of them yeah three the third one is the best but that's also yes. because they're like this is what really happened yeah so and i like how they put those little things in there but yeah. what if this happened this could have happened it's like but yeah. this is what really happened yeah the third one's the best like the other two are like pretty cool and clever but the third one's where it's at like mm -hmm. if you like the second one more than the third one what's wrong with you that's like I'm not like judging you, you, but what the fuck's wrong with you? That's I am. Yeah. <laughs> that's like saying I love Terminator Three more than Terminator Two. I'd be like, what, how old were you when you saw Terminator Two? Yeah. What are you dense? <laughs> All right. What are you a dipshit? Yeah. Moi, calling moi a dipshit. Grab this guy! I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's Jesus, hair you too. Kill that guy. Of course, the Terminator. The Terminator. I like that guy's hair is ridiculous. Yeah, though. it's like this. It looks like a helmet. Anyway, yeah. we're getting we're going into Terminator again. <laughs> yep. Let's rate it. Let's get away from Terminator Two. Let's right. rate this puppy. Go ahead. All right. I'm Go. gonna get. You know whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What? What? What happened? Let me What's get in the, Let me get in the the speaker mode. What are you gonna rate this movie? Uh, I'm gonna give it a nine. A nine. Just give it a solid a nine. It's a good movie. It's a good classic movie, and this is definitely like one of those ones I feel like you need to kind of see when you're a kid. It's like, like you know, how your parents show you movies, and then like you know, they're just like, oh, you haven't seen this? Have you seen this? Like, uh, Never Ending Story is like one of those. I feel like this is like up there with that because it's just it's goofy. You know, you're obviously not going to hurt anybody's feelings with this one. There's a little, there's some stuff, you know, but I mean, it's funny. And like it's not again like it's it's just a lot of good humor a lot of goofy humor if you're into that which you should be and realize that this is not like serious and it's and if you've ever played Clue then you know like kind of what to expect I guess because I mean it's like watching like I said it's like watching live action role playing of Clue like people that are super into the game. <laughs> And it makes it really fun because, like, there's a lot of funny one-liners, you know? And, yeah, it's 
it's it's a goofy fun movie to watch so yes nine it, it gets a solid nine for me nice i'm going to just because i i watched this movie so much as a kid like whenever it was on tv i was like i'm watching clue even though i've seen it a bunch and like i'm gonna give it 10 i didn't do it's you know because it's fucking great it's a uh, we've said it a thousand times it's a goofy fucking movie it's something that you can just sit down and enjoy you don't have to like you know get super like involved and invested into it you can just like (laughs) sit back just have a good fucking time great one-liners great premise for being a like a movie about a board game which is like never been done like a good movie about a board game so like for the fact that they could pull it off so well make it so accurate to the game but yet so fucking fun and funny at the same time is brilliant like i don't think this will ever happen again Mm -hmm. so for me like solid 10 like it was fucking like laugh a minute so (laughs) ready to close it well yeah i am i am ready to close it down for two guys one film i'm dylan and i'm dane And guess what? See you next week. We'll see you next week. We'll be right there. Same place. Same time, probably. Hopefully, unless you watch it later after it posts. But that's on you for not getting notifications. Yeah. Make sure you're you're scribing and getting them notifications. You want to know what's going on? Come on, dummy. Sign up. 